much. I would like you guys to share something uh, as we begin this webinar. Boom it first. Vumit, you're on mute. You need to unmute yourself, my dear. Yep, I'm so sorry. Yeah, Chahat, thank you so much for the wonderful introduction. And uh, yeah, so Chahat Mishra is also one of the gems of UBS. And <laughs> he was one of the kings that we met during our UBS in New York. And let's say it's not uh, hidden that the fact that Chahat was someone who didn't only really help out everyone, but was an amazing student as well. To begin with, I guess, I mean, the journey at UBS and the journey throughout those all three years was something which I cherish and I will cherish for the rest of my life. Because UBS is not only, let's say, it's not only a college for me, it's my second home. And Trust me when I say this, and I guess Chahat, Sharon, Ankush, everyone will agree that we all died to go back to UPS at this stage in life. So yeah, I mean that's it you for now, it. and we can we that's it for now, and we can move on to Sharon. Okay, thanks, Bumit. Okay, thank so you, Bumit. Thank you for being so kind, Sharon. Yes, please, please yes. add on. Okay, so yes, um, so yes, Chahat, uh, Chahat as you, uh, you know, introduced me that yes, presently I'm the Associate Director for Transformance. Uh, I've been a Cardiff Med student uh, specializing into HR and marketing. That's my forte. And yes, Bumit agreed to it that, you know, the journey at uh, UBS is something, it's kind of second home and you, you always love to go back and, you know, cherish all of those moments that you had. So, yes, that's from my end. And, th and I think there's lots to share that we, you know, share as we go on a one-on-one -on -one discussion with each one of you. So thanks, Chahat. That's from my end. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon. It's a pleasure once again. And uh, thank you, Ms. Jyoti, uh, Ms. Uh, you know, Sonal, and Mr. Rajiv Vujara and team for coordinating this session. Thank you. So let's begin. Uh, you know, I will have the first question uh, to uh, Sharon. Sharon, I want to understand from you, uh, you have you you did join UBS and I'm sure, you know, any student would have a lot of questions in mind before choosing an institute, right? So you had your share of questions while, while you know, when you joined UBS and uh, then you went through your Cardiff MBA program uh, and post that you got placed in transformance forums directly from the campus and you went on to become the associate director. It's impressive at this age you know, Sharon. So uh, yeah. how was this experience right from the journey, I, I would say, from stepping into the campus and then, you know, moving on to the corporate life uh, where you climbed so easily to the, uh, you know, in, in, in a leadership role, I would say. And then from there on, uh, you have also come back to the campus to recruit our students. So from a student to a recruiter, how does it look like? Uh, Sharon, please okay. share with us. Our audience wants to know from you. Sure. Uh, so yes, Chah, thanks for the question. Um, I think yes, uh, there was, you know, even I've been at this stage where I stepped into the university and uh, yes, there are a lot of questions that go on, um, not just uh, specific to the academic, but also, uh, you know, right from placements are one of the major concerns that we have at that time that, you know, what kind of placements, what kind of uh, you know, uh, profile we would get into because, you know, your heart is into some particular subject, then you get into something else. There are so many things that you hear and you, you know, you want that, you know, get let somebody, you know, give you all the answers, but that, that doesn't actually happen at that point of time. Uh, probably when you start uh, stepping into that, start your journey as a, you know, as a student and, you know, you go by uh, connecting with the faculty, going through that experience, the, you know, campus experience, going and connecting and having those uh, being a part of those co-curriculum, uh, you know, groups where you personally uh, also uh, personally develop yourself and also, you know, as in why you, you know, with your academics, you be tailored to, you know, be a best fit for the corporate. So, you know, here and why there are a lot of learnings and a lot of experiences that you go through. And yes, as far as the placement is concerned, um, yes, so there are opportunities. So once, you know, your, your academics, your professors have put on so much onto you, uh, you know, developing you for so many things and that, you know, no doubt that our professors do it well 
very close ji and all the personal life know and yeah that is how you get into that placement thing and yes and i think once you do it um, whole heartedly with that determination uh, you get placed and then you know you are you are very well prepared like you know how do you go in your forward journey i think that is where the preparation of uh, from the professors and from the academic sense comes into and that is where you keep getting answers to all the mind boggling questions that you have that's one from a student's perspective now once you get so as i mean as you mentioned that you know going into a recruiter why did i come back to recruit so as i'm uh, so uh, to be honest the kind of diverse talents that you know our college has there are diverse set of talents that come across uh, that is a transformational journey that is built on by all our professors you know transforming a raw candidate uh, into a, a you know a personality that you know uh as a, actually you develop you as a brand i would say that you know that you are very well uh, tailored to a corporate uh, leader you know like you know you are prepared uh, how a corporate personality looks like so you know the diverse set of talent the transformational journey that through which a candidate goes the uh, all the kind of preparations that they you know put into you you know on you work on you you know right from the skill sets to your confidence level to the kind of determination you should have uh the kind of attitude you should carry i think all of these things you know as in build on i mean you have that uh, personality development is in packaged very well within ubs and when i got into this role of recruitment i went back to ubs because i knew the peak the you know the kind of talents i'm looking for especially what i term as the high pos uh high pos are high performing uh, you know talents that of course every corporate and every organization looks out for i think you know you i very very easily get it uh, you know uh, from our campus because that's how you know i go and when you have these interactions with every new batch i mean the kind of passion they bring in the kind of different uh, you know those fresh perspectives they bring into i mean that's wonderful to hear their journey and understand all answer all those questions going across and but yes you know uh, yeah. overall the packaging the personal branding and you know when you bring pick up that one brand and bring it to your organization and when they perform well i have a lot of stars of ubs in my own organization so when i see them elevate to that performance level i know it's very very happy to see those those things because at one point of time i was there and now they are there and seeing them grow within an organization it gives you a sense of satisfaction out there so my journey of you know being from a student to a recruiter and sensing that each and every experience and development of of how the, the you know the professors worked on me and now how you know i'm able to inculcate the same into the new candidates that come in so you know that is how the journey has been so that's from my end sure so thank you so much sharon uh, you know wonderful to hear from you uh, you know right from as you said from being a campus student to you know becoming a recruiter it's not an easy task you have slogged in the campus and uh, and this is for everyone you know opportunities will come to you uh, in in your life being wherever you are now where you take the opportunity is solely up to you ubs is one institute which will give n number of opportunities to you right from experiential learning to you know doing a lot of club activities uh to i i would say for finance students you have a cross asset trading room which gives you an opportunity to uh kind of have a, a view of that virtual trading what does it look like so all of that uh you, i'm sure sharon during your time as well you uh, had this experience thank you for sharing that uh the next question i have for ankush uh so ankush i have this question for you because you were one student who was conscientious throughout your academics and uh, not just in academics you have uh, participated in all the co curriculars uh, right from being a part of the elc organization which runs directly i mean straight from the campus and you have uh, also represented ubs at cardiff metropolitan university so we want to hear from you how was this experience being a, a student at ubs what does it look like and uh, as we say as the chairman himself says work hard party harder because we are one business school which will train you to do well in life not just well in life but also train you to be partying harder you know uh, so ankush you have lived that experience we all have lived that experience in fact uh, so please please share Please hey, go thanks. on. Uh, thanks, Chahat. Uh, so, guys, uh, my journey, to be honest, has been a very long one since UBS. Uh, post my twelfth, you know, when I was searching for colleges and stuff, 
during the bachelor's itself i got to know about ubs i had offers i was about to just you know book my tickets for canada i had everything sorted out with university of manitoba and simon fraser but then this opportunity came where somebody told me you know there is a college in bombay which is endorsed by 60 ceos i was like okay that that's cool what what does it do right it's a college is endorsed by 60 ceos so what so they said i do visit them once i still remember visiting the campus with uh, tarun sir himself giving me the tour and uh, meeting one of uh, my closest friends vanit there for the first time and i was like dude this is a different place you get to run a company here you get to have opportunities here so for a kid uh, who pretty much had that entrepreneurship instinct in him and uh, who's pretty much business minded in that sense i thought you know this is the place where i can make it big and that is how pretty much my journey in ubs started opportunities came my way i wasn't one of those you know who used to just sit down and be quiet i used to grab those opportunities by their neck to be honest and uh, with one or opportunity coming in the other things started to look pretty good i got a chance to join elc which is a private limited company that runs in campus i believe all of us have been uh, there in elc and we've grown that, yeah. so from being a member to becoming the vp the ceo the ec all these tags look pretty good right um and, and they definitely look good on your cv but what ubs teaches you is a how to handle that pressure so being a graduate student working in an organization which is of students you chill with and you sit with and you work with and probably rising up the ranks to becoming their ceo and an mba guy taking orders from you when you're a kid technically in that sense so those nuances of human dynamics is what i believe ubs definitely teaches then the opportunity to represent cardiff came along the way and that was the best thing that i believe has happened to me from that sense uh ubs to be honest in a very simple line that we a lot of times we say in campus and in elc is a place where you come as students and you leave as gladiators right there are going to be a lot of opportunities i think we can discuss a lot of opportunities that me bumit uh, chahat you and all of us have explored and you know nurtured they made them into businesses but pretty much in uh, to capsule everything it's a place where you come as a student and you live like a gladiator who's there who means business and who's going to keep winning that is what you're going to get out of it thanks thanks a lot ankush uh, so from here on uh, speakers will keep it as brief as possible uh, for the course of this uh, webinar uh thanks a lot for sharing this insights uh, ankush i'm sure uh, audience uh our prospective students have got some insight uh and i'm sure a lot of your questions will be cleared as we proceed uh pumit the next question comes to you uh you have uh been uh, uh, the representative at uh, you know our partner institute at indonesia prior to that uh what made you uh you know being being one of the chosen lots to represent the institute at uh, indonesia what i have seen you uh, being on campus is that bhumit is one such individual where uh, who has to be there for every event now that is the persistence of an individual which i see and uh, i i've always uh, been inspired and yes he was my junior so still uh the we all of us can be inspired from each each one of us around us i would say and uh, bhumit uh, i want to hear from you what was it like being on campus and uh, how did you polish your uh, skill sets which you already had prior to joining ubs and how was the life at indonesia yeah so yeah just to start with chahad let me clarify one thing which is uh, uh you were my junior and i was and it was the other way you <laughs> entered but i was in mba you were in dba by early. the time i joined it <laughs> yeah so i i but guess i'm just going to agree with we, you on we, that we are all friends yeah so yeah 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 so jokes apart yeah i'll so to start my journey with ubs i would suggest i would give it a name of from being a student to being a marketing enthusiast so i'll say this so ubs has its tagline saying transforming lives and i can blindly say i can say it anywhere in the world with my voice loud all around that yes ubs has transformed my life 
because ankush knows me before i uh, since i joined ubs one eat knew me so when i joined ubs i was this kid who went out of his home for the first time and you know everything's new for me entering the college seeing the induction week going so the induction week was an eye opener for me it was like constant a week of meeting new ceos of different mncs etc etc and at the end of the day you are tired and you have to get up the next morning at early and go for the guest lectures so all the entire induction week i had the constant support of ankush and everyone so yeah from that day since the moment i entered elc i just heard everywhere elc 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 i was like yeah there's there's a lot of clubs but there's something different with elc and that was when i thought that no at any cost i want to get into elc and that's how i entered into elc as an executive into events so ubs apart from my academics so basically i'll just say a bit on academics which is yeah we do follow the cardiff met pedagogy and i was quite like i was quite comfortable doing that because i was always against the semester system which is in india that you study for one semester and the next semester is ready to disturb your leisure so that's one thing and in my in terms of my elc journey uh i guess ankush was uh, ankush was the one who took my interview uh, as far as i remember along with sachin chaudhary and yeah they did try they did try to you know make me uh, walk away from it we did yeah they did they, they did grill me very well and yeah <laughs> i managed to you know get into elc get promoted reach out to ceo now let me tell you one thing when we say ceo it's not a ceo of a club or anything else it's a ceo of a registered private limited company and right now in my masters application i'm using it on my cv on my personal statement and trust me when i say this i'm getting offer letters because of my personal statement and i have two paragraphs two whole paragraphs about ubs and elc in my personal statement so that's how ubs helps you out not only during your degree but even after that you are going to get ample opportunities to grow ample opportunities to learn ample opportunities to you know get out and get the right exposure there's the placement cell behind you there are your professors behind you so name anything what you want and everyone in ubs is going to make sure that you get it so that's one thing my experience at indonesia was awesome and like it was my first international trip overall and i did enjoy it i got to learn a lot and made a lot of memories a lot of friends so i and you do get good chances in terms of getting good scholarship ankush was ankush was sent to cardiff med to represent ubs i was sent to university of indonesia so every year there are multiple opportunities to represent ubs at various countries and partner institutions so it's just that how do you perform in terms of your academics in terms of co curriculars and i would strongly suggest don't keep yourself free at your time in ubs make use of it get the opportunity you get and the rest is like we are open for questions and over to chat well thank you bumit uh, there is one one thing which i want to point out uh, during the course of this webinar uh, you know my audience i'm sure most of you might not know but this is the time when where you should know UBS is an institute which is built on the 3E framework which is ethics environment and experiential learning so no so uh, i would now start taking up a, a few questions which have come up and from there on we'll keep it more engaging and interactive uh, there's one question which has come up uh, from giraj sanwal who is asking uh, and he has a doubt that which specialization is good uh you know has a good scope in future and at present is doing mba in finance good so just to answer to that uh, giraj we at ubs offer specializations of finance marketing hr operations but yes we are also the rarest of the rare institute who is offering courses on artificial intelligence machine learning business analytics where we have top faculties coming from uh, you know uh, i would say not just india but also from abroad coming for guest lectures uh, we are also an institute which offers a ceo series where you will 
get an opportunity to not just meet but also interact personally with uh, you know the top uh, honchos of mncs of your dream companies i'm sure uh, students you 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 must be having some or the other company in mind where you want to work for ubs will help you transform that and transform yourself and get you closer to that dream of yours yes finance has uh, a lot of scope in future and mba in finance uh, at ubs we have all experienced faculties uh, and they are not just educators right i want to point out that they are experienced uh, you know corporate uh, professionals who have been working tirelessly and made their way uh, in the top management of some of the best organizations in india right they have chose to come to our campus dedicate their sessions to all our students batch wise subject wise and yes there are mentoring sessions as well so that is very helpful i would say uh, you know which specialization has scope in future if you if if you are just wanting to know that uh, there are a lot of scopes for marketing finance yes but as we all can see uh, there are so there are also increasing opportunities for business analytics right not just in india when you uh, go abroad as well uh, you know foreign institutes in uk ireland uh, as well as in U us they are now looking up for business analytics as uh, their core job uh, opportunities so ubs is providing you that right Shahad, so um, that is something which you should keep in mind and yes ankush if you if you want to add I, something I to that i just want to add a small note in this yeah. giriraj and and all of this for all of you guys right um end of the day when you are planning to do an mba mba is not just a degree that you do okay it is pretty much an investment you are doing for your entire life and it is a commitment that you are giving on your on yourself that this is what i want to do in life so finance is great right i know finance is great there is a lot of uh, opportunities in finance but if there is something that you aspire to do focus on that just don't go for the money aspect or the glamour of the job you might love events right and you might say that you know events i like doing events but it is not it might not be as high paying as a, 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 as a finance or a marketing job it doesn't matter when you're doing an mba this is a commitment you're going to give that okay i want to become a marketer or a finance guy what are we going to do or hr for that instance get ready to accept it and work on that uh, it doesn't matter what till the time you're enjoying what degree you're doing it doesn't matter what specialization is there because end of the day there are opportunities everywhere so don't focus on you know being part of a herd that if five or 10 of my friends are doing finance i should also do finance or if there is more money in marketing i'll do marketing because that is after a certain point in life you're going to start questioning your decisions if you haven't made your own so don't follow the rut and sit and actually understand why do you want to pursue a particular degree or where do you do that research you know on what all opportunities are there in this particular field that you aspire to get into and if you feel that those opportunities are something you can align with take that specialization if not choose something else for me uh, personally i knew that i always wanted to do marketing but i always i love money to be honest all of us love money right i knew that uh, from a long term perspective there is a lot of scope in selling of financial products and stuff but i knew that that is not who i am so i decided that you know i want to get into a special niche of marketing and towards what i'm working in so don't have that mindset uh, and whatever you choose give your best in it and you're going to you know succeed in that on to you charge well, thank you ankush i have the next question for uh, sharon uh, what would you like to rank yourself before joining ubs and for now that's a question that has come up from uh, divya vijay and he also says i mean like what kind of and how much transformation do you feel after joining ubs in yourself so sharon yeah. all yours so okay uh, so as far as ranking is concerned uh, see you know you just be a fresher bachelor who is just you know completed with a bachelor degree now you are going on for your higher studies now like that's i mean you you get transformed on through a lot of skill set that get added on as you know you go on a journey of a masters degree so there's of course there's a vast difference if i personally talk about myself i was 
say six on ten, then I got on to nine on ten. That's how I could tell you because there were so many. There was there were so many more skills. As I, as I was mentioning, the personality development. You know, there are a lot of institutions that actually promise you co-curricular activities, but then you know maybe during the journey you would not realize to the you know the clubs that you join into, the interactions that you have, the engagement journey that you know UBS UBS builds on, where where you know you engage with a lot of CEOs, the corporate leaders coming across to the in. a uh, university you you know you engage a lot but the way this transformation journey happens the lot of things that added gets added on to your personality and that gets very well tailored uh, into making you a corporate ready person right the uh, so to be honest in one line if i could tell you it's not that you know they teach you just more of little what you know but they you know they develop you as an influencer and it is give you a vision before you move out of the university as to what kind of personality you want to be and how you want the world to view you as so that's how you know that's how i can put it across well thank you sharon and just to add to that uh, and this question is asking as i said uh, what was the transformation that you see post uh, graduating from the campus uh you know i would like to also add on to what sharon said before joining ubs uh yes i wanted to do mba because uh i had an inclination for marketing uh i wanted to refine my skill sets uh you know in every way possible now just to also share uh, once uh, during the part of uh, my i i would say program i was uh part of this uh, experiential learning cooperation which ankur and bhumit were also part of and uh, i was heading their digital marketing division uh, did well uh, i mean that is not just i would say the end of uh, everything that you have on campus there's a lot of opportunities which will keep coming right uh, not just one uh, in uh, like i would say you know if if you if you're also in a class right if you're attending a session on strategic management you may also be given an assignment to be done along with your peers right not just in isolation along with your peers which gives you a perspective of doing things not just by your by yourself but to get a perspective of different people and that is very important when you take up a you know a managerial role once you graduate right and also to add once i graduated uh i you know joined a wealth tech organization i had the i had really no clue that i would end up in a fintech space and thanks to ubs i joined uh, you know one of the top wealth tech organizations i worked there for for quite some time uh, you know handled the europe middle east and africa regions did their b2b sales core b2b sales and from there on uh, having that uh, you know experience of advanced technology and the basics that ubs gave me right from the concepts of marketing right now everything that you learn from campus will obviously keep on coming to you every now and then in your life right not necessarily everything would be used as part of an experience in 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 your company in your role but somewhere something that your that your institute has given you will be used now in my case uh i was already into a lot of uh, coaching mentoring uh, you know addressing a lot of people so i thought why not start up something of my own and that's when i started off inspirectuals which uh, is which happens to be asia's own global leadership channel where i uh, you know train a lot of people bring the best of the best people on uh, on my talk show talk to them do a lot of stuff so that is something which i would say has has not come naturally obviously there is a lot of refinement that uh, any institute can do to you as an individual right so that is something uh, I, i would say from a student i went on to founding my own company right and alongside i'm working for uh, a top uh, insurance brand in their corporate business so that is something which i'm sure most of you when you join ubs you will get a lot of opportunities lot of placement opportunities yes we will also be discussing uh, you know questions related to placements as we proceed i'm sure some of you might be having those questions as well so having answered this we'll move on to the next one uh, there's questions coming up regarding elc 
so students have asked what is elc and what does it do uh, you know why elc exists on campus why this concept why no organize or no campus you know no business school across india has this concept of a private limited company what is this i mean boom it you can just you know kind of throw some light on uh, elc and what have you done to the organization yep uh, so elc is nothing but what charak just mentioned in his last question experiential learning corporation it is also known as exco learn private limited so elc is a private limited company which is run by the students of universal business school and we can proudly say it's india's first student led organization and uh, during our tenure in elc we were fortunate enough to have tarun sir as our managing director he managed us directly and so elc is nothing but a registered club so you cannot say it's a club but yeah they do count it as a club at ubs along with other clubs but elc i i see ankush nodding there i see ankush nodding there so yeah uh, <laughs> getting into elc is not as easy as getting into any other club uh, let me be very honest with you at elc we train you how the corporate world is going to treat you so it starts with a resume submission followed by some great interviews where they grill you i remember ankush grilling me very well and then followed by uh, the final decision is taken by the department heads we have multiple departments at elc which are marketing digital marketing services event management zalen ankush you can name a few if i miss um right so just to add on to whatever bumit is saying see elc is definitely not a club it's it's a it's a professional company it's a private limited company which means business from day one right uh the whole concept of yep. elc what uh, i was i think the second or the third batch who was in elc and fortunate enough the youngest ceo i believe in that sense and it's basically the concept was that hey all colleges have clubs right why can't we have a private limited company with that idea i believe tarun sir and a bunch of four or five more kids started this company and i think it was during our tenure that we actually were able to privatize it and it's a place where you mean business so you hire students you fire students you have deliver- deliverables you have to deliver on numbers more importantly you have to get that money so from sponsorships for your events to generating revenues through different departments it's all on you it's an onus on you so it's literally like you're running a company you're the ceo of the company uh, just to add into it there are a lot of other departments that are there uh, services is an internal department that uh, looks into a lot of things and there is consulting that we do for outside businesses a lot of youtubers and stuff there is no you know limit to the number of departments you can have i remember i when i was in my bachelor's so this is long back and the first year when i recently joined ubs at that time my biggest issue at that time was you know what laundry so a delhi guy fully pampered only child single guy good delhi ke dal makhani parathe khane wala bachcha typically comes to a college and the shock of his life is that you'll have to take a bucket put your clothes in it walk down to the washing machine area and wash your clothes i was like this is not happening <laughs> i can't do this uh, and this was a similar reaction from my roommate as well so both of us you know with all that uh, that scare that you have as a young chap you we went to tarun's and we were like so we have a small issue <laughs> he's like what and we like you know we there are a lot of people in the laundry and it, it's uncomfortable to carry a bucket and walk all the way to the place to clean your clothes like you don't have that mummy power here to clean your clothes here and that was the biggest pain in my life at that time so uh, he said that you know you are elc members find and you found a problem now get a solution to that and that is pretty much when we founded the laundry club uh the laundry service in it now as funny as it sounds that you uh, started a laundry service in college it is pretty much simply tying up with a local merchant in the karjat market and bringing him on alternate days to get everyone's clothes washed ironed and delivered at the doorstep a simple business model now this business model turned into a good revenue generating business for elc 
Now, while on that sense, it's definitely good for us and all gungos for Ankush, Mayank and all Vanir, all of these guys who started a club in ELC and they're making money out of it. The biggest thing was that these departments that we opened up were things that we could talk about in our own interviews. So while well, majority of you guys, when you're going to appear for your placement interviews, you'll have competition from a lot of other colleges, right? There, they'll say that, you know, we've, we have an MBA. We have uh, worked in XYZ club. We've organized this event, that event. Perfect. When we went for our interviews, we had a visiting card that said CEO. Now, a guy who's coming for a mid-level or an associate level job at a corporate, taking out the CEO card and putting it in front of the HR, that's a big question mark for the HR. And at that time, when they say, okay, what is this? At that time, the whole interview from tell me about yourself and stuff directly changes into what is ELC? Like right now, the whole event, I can see all the chats. There are a majority of you who want to know about ELC. Imagine this at an interview. This is what we owned up there. We had the option to speak and control the interview. And that is what ELC gives you, that power. Uh, and instead of, you know, just saying that you're part of a club and stuff here, when me and Bhumat, I know we, we've discussed this a lot of times when we went for our interviews, we didn't say that we've just done an MBA or a bachelor's degree. We said we ran a corporate 200 people organization where we generated revenues upwards of five lakhs. We had, we launched three or four departments that turned out into revenue generating uh, models for the organization that increased the revenues by two folds. Now, when you talk in this language, that changes the entire perspective you have for that student because uh, all the HRs and stuff, they want a particular breed. They want a student who can work hard. But when they see this kind of an exposure coming in, that changes. So the next question I have for uh, Sharon, and uh, there's a question from uh, Krishna Varshini, who was asked, what would you suggest for us to be prepared for before we go to UBS, right? Uh, you can relate it with your own life experience, Sharon, what uh, made you, uh, you know, prepared before coming to UBS and post once you've come out, uh, what change did you see? I mean, again, it's a repetition, but then you can tell us how did you get yourself prepared? Okay, uh, so I think uh, you need to be firstly very positive minded because, you know, there are thousands of people bombarding you with so many information that, you know, this is good, that is bad, that is about this, about this college, that is good about that college, that is bad about college. I mean, I mean, these are normal things that happen, you know, uh, when you opt for an universe. But then once you've done that investment, I think you need to have that very positive mindset once you get into that academy. Uh, and, you know, you and you should for sure take, uh, you know, Experience each and every step that you have going to take, being at your academic, being at a part of any club, anything. I mean, just take, uh, have those experiences and have those learnings out of each and every experience that you have. Because of course, it's going to add up to you, your journey ahead. Once, uh, I think that's one thing that I would say. And uh, once you're out of the college, you need to make sure that, you know, uh, I mean, you should not... Uh, the only learnings that I've had, uh, you've had over this journey, you know, you need to use it, you will very positively execute it with, during your corporate journey for sure. So, you know, you need to have it very much in line. I think using good experiences into a very positive way is something that you should be very well prepared. Well, thank you, uh, you know, Sharon. I, uh, I'm sure audience are getting some insights as we proceed. Uh, but there's one wonderful question that has come up uh, from Akshat Kumar, who said, would, would like to ask how viable and fruitful would it be to go for dual specialization, right? So, Ankush, if you can uh, come on screen and tell us about this. Um, how does dual specialization at UBS look like? So, end of the day, it all boils down to who you are, right? And what do you want from your degree? As I've discussed this earlier, an MBA is not an investment that you're doing one point at just right now. And so if you're confused and you're thinking that, you know, I like marketing, but I might also like finance or you really are not that level headed right now, or you haven't explored those opportunities and you feel that you can bounce between, this is the perfect thing that you can do. A dual specialization prepares you for two different uh, streams in, in, in a way, and it gives you a holistic development opportunity, but it all de depends on who you are and, you know, what you want to do from that particular course. We've had a lot of people who have been really successful in the dual specialization. Uh, I remember in the first year, they were all like, you know, we want to get into marketing and stuff, but it was 
later down the line when they realize that it's finance that is their calling and having that dual specialization has helped them in that sense so it helps you prepare you for whatever you want to do in life if you are still confused between you know all of these trains and stuff i believe dual specialization is a good way that you can be prepared for whatever opportunities you look for okay uh makes a lot of sense but uh, in in just continuation to this question uh there's another question from pratiksha who's asked that uh if i want to pursue cardiff mba program in hr should i take hr in pgdm and marketing in mba or marketing in pgdm and hr in mba uh which of these two is having a better scope uh sharon if if you can just share something on uh this i think uh, going with hr and marketing uh, makes sense because you know going ahead in your career i think it's at least it has helped me going across so yeah you can take one a cardiff as an hr and you can take pgdm as a marketing i think that works as a best combination out there okay uh i'm sure a lot of you must also be wondering uh, about the location of the campus right something which we have not discussed all this while but uh, most of you might also be wondering why is campus so far away from mumbai uh, and things like that but just to also share uh, in the interest of everyone uh, our campus is situated in the lush green uh, landscape of karjat on the foothills of shayadri one campus uh, where you will love to breathe the freshest air right uh, if you're doing your mba and uh, you're in your academics i'm sure you would want to have an ambience that makes it wholesome so uh, while you're on uh, your uh, academic experience uh, you know attending your classes uh, doing your club activities and then uh, if if you're joining during i'm sure uh, you know we uh, you know have the joining of most of the programs in the month of june or july right that's when uh, the rain uh, starts and uh, we we are proud to see that in fact most of you when you join in right you will see a lot of uh, waterfalls surrounding the campus so there are almost more than 14 waterfalls that you can see right uh behind your uh, dorms so that's something which you will cherish not just while you're on campus i'm sure when you leave i'm uh, you know bhumit ankur sharon you all must have missed that experience of uh, you know being with your friends uh, having that experience watching those beautiful scenes uh, so this is something which you will not get being in the city and in the city right uh, place is an issue uh, obviously our 3e framework which we've talked about ethics environment and uh, experiential learning environment is one aspect which ubs is focusing a lot on and uh, being at karjat uh, i would say that the campus gives you uh, a lifetime of an experience you will forget the uh, hustle and bustle of the city so just not uh be concerned about how does the city looks like but i'm sure during the weekends uh even all of us got the opportunity of traveling to pune to lonavala and wherever you want to travel man i mean it's it's like you 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 today if it's friday if you want to go with your friends to uh say lonavala and spend some time you can do that so uh i mean all of this experience you will not get in any other institute right if if you're there so coming on to you know few more questions uh there is one question which uh, naman goel has asked uh, what is the difference uh, students feel uh, between studying in a, abroad and studying in ubs now ubs uh, has always been providing this international exposure and accreditations with cardiff metropolitan accreditation i mean affiliations with uh, you know swiss school of management italy uh, with indonesia then we have you know few more in paris and italy as well so all of this uh, affiliations and uh, the programs that students do right studying from an indian campus getting an international degree right uh, bhumit this question i would like to ask from you how does it feel like 
uh, you know, being a student at UBS, studying the foreign curriculum. And uh, while you were in Indonesia, I'm sure there was a, a semester that you started there. So you started your PG, your uh, Cardiff BBA subjects at campus, and then you had some extension at Indonesia. So how was that experience? Uh, please tell our audience, uh, how did it feel studying foreign subjects? Sure. So uh, may it be the Cardiff Met uh, BB or the Cardiff Met MBA, more or less we follow the entire Cardiff Met pedagogy, which is we are not totally dependent on classes or we are not totally dependent on exams. More, uh, most of it depends on your independent study hours, which are provided to you after your lectures get over. And uh, a key role is played by all your Cardiff Met assignments, which you do. Now, here, when we talk about assignments or project works, it's not that easy that you take it from your seniors and copy paste there. That's when the real challenge comes in. You have to do, you have to follow Harvard referencing. You have to make sure it, the plagiarism is not beyond a certain limit. So yeah, definitely when it comes to the curriculum or the academic, I would say it was a hell of an experience because I am not a kind of a student who, you know, would prefer writing exams. But yeah, when you're writing your assignments by hook or by crook, you're going to understand the concepts because you have to write it on your own. And talking about my studies at Indonesia, definitely I got to learn a lot of new subjects which were not there on my Cardiff, Med, uh, Cardiff curriculum, as well as some subjects which were there. So the combination which you get being a Cardiff student at UBS so let's say, I mean, I am, I am a Cardiff Met student. And so when you study at UBS, it's not just that you are a UBS student, but you get your Cardiff Met ID, you get access to all the features that a Cardiff Met student gets. So yeah, you do, you study here in UBS, but you are a Cardiff Met student starting from the Cardiff Met library to their online publications, to their students services, they are helpful and you can reach out to them just mentioning your student ID and they're going to definitely help you out. So yeah, the curriculum is really good and it helps you understand everything in detail without boring you. So that's more important. Thank you. Boomer. When we compare it to, a, to an, uh, to an Indian PGDM program, what happens is Cardiff Met has their own systems in place, their own processes in place. Uh, let's take a general example of examinations. What happens in PGDM, your faculty makes your question papers, you write it, it goes back to them, they check it and they mark you. Let's talk about how it happens in Cardiff Med. You get your question papers, your faculty designs three question papers, it goes back to Cardiff Med, they select one question paper which your faculty is not aware of. You give the exams, your faculty evaluates your marks, those things are scanned and sent to the external examiner, which can be any other university in any part of the world. After getting approval from them, it goes back to Cardiff Met. They check, is there any discrepancy between the UBS marks and the external examiner marks? Then they approve your marks and that's how you get your marks in a particular subject. This is followed for all the subjects that you take for your Cardiff Met program. So that's one main difference. Coming to BGDM, you don't have to upload your assignments on Turnitin. Cardiff Met, you have to upload your assignments on Turnitin. So I'm telling you guys, whoever has taken Cardiff Met, please start reading. You will have to start writing things on your own. It's not going to be easy making assignments. But yeah, it's a wonderful journey. So in that manner, even if, you know, when we are studying for our assignments and when we are reading different articles, different journals, that helps us understand the concept even without studying it. So that's more important that without studying, without mugging up, I am well aware of the concept that I'm writing about. Technical, but just to give you a broader perspective of how does PGDM and Cardiff look like? Uh, yes, Cardiff will give you a lot of, uh, you know, global perspective. Now there will be a lot of subjects which you are having common between PGDM and Cardiff, but uh, just also remember that PGDM is Again, it's an advanced course because we are having business analytics, the top uh, courses also uh, you know, incorporated, which gives you an edge over others. Institutes which are you know, doing a plain Jane, traditional vanilla, plain vanilla MBA, right? That will not help you once you graduate from uh, you know, a B school. But UBS is providing you that. 
right? Now uh, in PGDM as well, uh, and and both for Cardiff, you get an opportunity to interact with some of the best experienced faculties. Now we have uh, people from uh, I would say, you know, some of the top organizations like Xerox, right? One of the best companies of the world, uh, right? So the person uh, we have at our institute happens to be the director of academic affairs. He himself uh, happened to be from Xerox. Similarly, we have other faculties who have been at the top managerial roles in organizations and are there in campus to help you out with uh, your subjects. Now in PGDM, uh, uh, you will also be having a lot of mentor mentee sessions. Now that is again relevant for uh, Cardiff. Now this is one such concept which no other business school has. Uh, what is mentor mentee, right? Now every student, say a group of 18, 20 students are allotted one mentor to uh, you know be trained on say life skills, to be trained on general awareness on your uh, you know I would say English because. Again, English is very important when you crack any interview. Now, I'm sure a lot of you will also be having questions. How do we crack interviews? How do we get the best of companies? Yes, best of companies come to the campus. Are you the ones who will be able to make it right now? Again, as Sharon started and she rightly mentioned before joining UBS, you need to be prepared. And uh, I, while I was reading the chat box, there was one question who said, uh, you know, one person who said that, uh, what are the books one should read uh, before joining an MBA, right? I would say if you, if you want to become a hardcore marketing professional, you should first and foremost give a thorough reading of uh, marketing management by Philip Kotler, right? Now, Philip Kotler happens to be the Bibles of marketing students. Now, if you have some sort of an inclination for marketing, go for Philip Kotler. You can read some of the top leadership books, right? Now, if you want to just be different and a class apart from other individuals, from other B school students, you need to step up and uh, take the opportunity of being part of, say, ELC, which Bhumit was a part of, which Ankush was a part of, right? Be uh, able to take, you know, some you know, initiative, which helps not just you improve, but at the end helps the, uh, you know, in uh, the B school, which helps your team. Now, UBS also teaches you teamwork. That is something uh, which which you'll find not just, you know, in Cardiff, it's it's the same for both. Now, Cardiff will step it up for you a, a, a notch higher where you get a global perspective and uh, Bhumit, as rightly mentioned, a lot of research papers you need to be writing, a lot of assignments, and yes, a uh, lot of uh, tireless, you know, sleepless nights that you need to be sparing, right? So that is something which, you know, I'll just give you a perspective. How, how does life look at campus, right? We've discussed a lot of technicals as well. Now, how does it look like being on campus? So Ankush, I would like to come to you uh, to get a, uh, you know, start to this particular question. How does a, a, a regular campus life looks at UBS and uh, what are the opportunities for students? Uh, if you can just start sharing that a bit um, and yes, then uh, Sharon and Boom, if you all can start adding to that. Yeah, okay, I'll definitely do that. Just to add one point, because I know this question, I have personally heard from a lot of chaps before as well. Whenever you're thinking about, you know, the life that a lot of people say this, right? You are not, you, you're getting a British education degree, but you're getting it from India. So what are the cons of it? Um, to be honest, the whole Cardiff pedagogy, especially at UBS, it's the oldest partner of UBS. And for anyone who's doing the Cardiff course, the whole concept is that you get the same education that a student is getting in Cardiff, right? So if there is any individual who's studying in UBS, the kind of material education and stuff that you're going to get is going to be same. The only benefit that you're going to get here is that you're going to get placement opportunities, which Cardiff students in UK do not get. Cardiff Med does not have a placement cell. UBS does. So other than that, there the whole student meet that I went to and all of these things that uh, the faculties and the deans coming to UBS to visit is all to ensure that the level of education you get is the same and as per the norms of Cardiff Med back home there. 
so don't be worried about that in fact you're going to get a better experience here and uh, talking about campus life uh, well i've been one of those notorious kids who's enjoyed most of my college life right um, i've had the opportunity and the blessing to become the student of the year and do well pretty well in my academics in that sense but i've never had that studious mentality i would say i was one of those outlandish guys who used to pretty much go out every day to eat food i'm a foodie and while the campus food is nutritious and and great it's nutritious definitely i'm more of those dal makhani and butter chicken wala <laughs> banda right so for me outside food was always a welcome i used to i bumit in fact both of us used to run down to lonavla because there was a starbucks there and a waffle store there also at times so i've been one of those guys who's enjoyed the most in campus who's partied the hardest but yes worked a lot as well so campus life um is pretty good you're going to have your normal studies and stuff there are a lot of things you can explore in karja there is a beautiful resort there and a cafe called forest club where i have pretty much spent half of my college days i believe but that is what you know ubs gives you that opportunity to be flexible and work on your own explore life but also be serious about it so i think you're going to get sorted explore there i don't think it's the right uh, platform where i can you know go all out gungo on what all seems that you can do there but you can definitely connect with me anytime i personally miss college a lot and probably once a month i do visit ubs and karjat and once or twice a month i am in karjat at that resort chilling and enjoying life so we can discuss this on, on a different forum but other than that it's not that studious mentality that you have to take books with you or study that much the whole card is the whole whole concept is you get into the groove first get to college start learning whatever is suggested don't start you know pre reading stuff and try to be one of those kids who knows everything you're there to learn so start from the basics trust me you're in safe hands they're going to teach you from the basics so don't you don't need to you know study too much or get that burden enjoy it's an mba this this time won't come back so cherish every day focus more on networking with people and enjoying with your batchmates than you know putting your head in the notebook that is how i have lived my life just to add to this uh, those people who don't know this context salt basically is namak restaurant it's a restaurant in karjat and uh, they opened their resort called the forest club fun thing about it i was i started to become one of their you know most frequent customers i started to interact with the owner and stuff and i got the opportunity to work on that resort project as well so while i was in campus i was pretty much getting paid from salt to build the forest club resort so i have had that experience of you know trying to get tie ups with oyos and stuff and have long, thinking on how what it takes to start your own resort so there are these options well, thank you ankur question i have for sharon you know uh, how does the placement looks like for both cardiff and uh, the pgdm batch is it combined or you know do we have separate placements going on for both the programs so that's something which our uh, you know most of the students want to know sharon you've been a recruiter the perfect person to answer this question okay so i don't think there is any difference in the placement opportunities for uh, pgdm and cardiff it's you know all the opportunities are open for both the uh, degrees you know candidates and uh, i think uh, there are a lot of you know unique opportunities that are come that come across apart from the specializations that you are you know into uh, one of my uh, profiles being one of the most unique uh, like uh, you know i always go up with the uh, you know fetching for conference producers that's a profile not many people know about Uh, so you know you i think uh, uh, also a suggestion that i would like to make you know even such unique opportunities if they come don't take a back step you know exploring them you should go in and you know at least try out because you never know you know how exciting that that is because i am myself a live example of an experiential you know coming from that perspective so yeah so i think those opportunities are quite vast and there are quite unique ones as well it's just about you know knowing what to explore and go in for Yes. So just to add to that, uh, Sharon. So the placements for both PGDM and uh, Cardiff is absolutely the same. There is no difference. And uh, the you know I would say the letters which are passed on for uh, the campus placements are you know I would say equally sent out to all the candidates, right? Both for PGDM, Cardiff, SSM, or for any other batch. Now. what differentiated does a program uh, bring to you know the uh, 
स्टूडेंट आई वुड से बी इट एन एस एस एम कोर्स और कार्डिफ एम बी ए और एनी अदर फॉर दैट मैटर दैट विल गिव यू अ परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ दैट कंट्रीज सब्जेक्ट कंट्रीज परस्पेक्टिव द ग्लोबल कॉन्टेक्स एंड गिव यू दैट ग्लोबल एम बी ए डिग्री वाइल स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम एन इंडियन कैंपस now that is something which is very rare it's an aict approved mba accredited uh, mba program which you are doing on campus and with a global outlook so that is something which gets added on uh, to your uh, you know cap i would say now when it comes to placements uh, so just to give you uh, i would say a step by step process of how does it look like so just before the placement season starts uh you start receiving uh, the you know official emails from various uh, placement heads regarding some of the other companies now that is something which is floated to all the students right now that there's nothing different uh, that that goes to any student and yes uh, if you happen to you know be the right candidate now for any company they they recruit the right candidate with the right skill set and at the right time now if you are able to pull off that interview with your domain being strong with you know the two years that you spend on campus right i would personally recommend you to make your domain really strong now if because that's something where most of the students get stuck in interviews and uh, even companies coming with uh, just to give you an instance during my batch we had one company being floated from oman right with a package of uh, 16 lakhs right but did anybody clear that is a bigger question you know so companies with 15 lakhs 18 lakhs also come to our campus but are you the one who can clear it so this is something to reflect on and uh, today as you uh, go back home uh, you know i would say reflect and understand what makes you special you know while you are on campus and how can you add value to any organization that you can be a part of and how can you you know refine your skill sets being either a part of elc being a part of the placement team uh, you know i would say contributing in some of the other events that's something that gives you an opportunity of a lifetime right and uh, bhumit i would have the last question to you you know uh, there have been a lot of people who uh, wanting to ask about uh, you know how do we deal with negativity or frustration during this mba journey of 2 years a lot of uh, you know friends from different states now there was one more question uh, just to be you know making it a connected question uh, one of them asked that uh, there's the uh, ubs has a diversity of students right now people from 27 or 28 29 states they come and uh, you know be a part of the different programs yes we have diversity on uh, on our campus we have people from south from north from east from west uh, doing and contributing in every way possible now that is something unique and with different minds coming together i'm sure there's uh, you know difference of opinion as well so with that comes this aspect of negativity and frustration now as students it is a human psyche to feel 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 that way you know be going through some emotion through highs and lows that is be i mean they'll be there when you are on campus so bhuvit i'm sure you also faced something like this in i would say maybe one or two instances you could just help us narrate and uh, how did you tackle that i mean see i it would be a lie if i would say that yeah you don't get across such uh, instances or you might not feel low some days so it depends on what is the factor affecting you because some boys like i have seen students someone is like yeah i'm quite far from the city and i don't like it i mean like yeah it's culture it's supposed to be far from the city because that's where you find the lap of nature and the serenity to study so that's one thing i mean uh, everything and so for any issue which you face in ubs or if there's anything which is making you feel low there's definitely your mentors there to help you to support you up 
so when we say mentor menti chahat mentioned about mentor menti it's not only limited to your academics or it's not only limited to your professional development it's it also covers your personal stuff so if you are facing some issue if you are feeling low if there's something which is affecting you anything and everything you can go up and discuss with your mentor the mentors at ubs are so helpful they help you out throughout your journey and personal issues everything and if if you feel that so moment just to add on to that uh, i would like to also mention about the bmw club which our uh, chairman uh, mr tarun anand always keeps talking about this is for audience i'm sure you might not have heard about this but bmw stands for bitching moaning and whining and waiting. now there yeah. will be yeah there will be people around you who will be bitching cribbing moaning about a lot of things the government is not good the education system is not good people are not right all of this this and that i mean you need to be surviving amidst all of this happening around you right and how do you keep that mindset now when you are doing your mba right it is it is very important that you have a winning mindset right it is not necessary that you may win or you may lose but it is important that you participate right now if you participate that already has increased your chance of you know winning now whether you win will obviously depend on uh, your skill sets how have you spent your life during those two years you know while you're on campus there will be a lot of people around you who will tell you chalo aaj chalte hain aaj you know do din ke liye panvel chalte hain pune chalte hain lonavla chalte hain masti karte hain peete hain khate hain enjoy karte hain right there are a lot of people telling you this and then and this is you know will be on 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 a day like a saturday or a sunday and a monday morning you need to be returning back to the campus so how does it look like now it is you who is going to make that choice whether you want to be participating and contributing in an event that adds value to you in some way or you are letting go of that opportunity by you know involving yourself in something as i would say pointless you know but yes uh, in 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 some way when we talk about recreation you need to be with friends you need to be enjoying it but yes there has to be some time for it but not always so make the most use of time while you're on campus uh, have the best of the best knowledge from our expert faculties who are there on campus uh, don't shy away from speaking to your seniors even your juniors for that matter uh listen to a lot of people but don't react right i would say understand listen to a lot of people take your time and then make your uh, i would say uh, conclusion about something don't you know listen to anybody and everybody it's you who is going to win your race nobody else will do it for you ubs is one such place which will you know truly transform your life you have seen examples of sharon who today is uh, you know in a leadership role in transformance forums one of the i would say top companies of uh, conferences and event management so uh, i mean thank you so much pumith ankush and sharon for your time and sharing all beautiful insights with us today uh, there are few more questions that has come up on our chat box but I, but due to the you know paucity of time we will not be able to take up uh, all of them so what we'll do is we'll we'll take up uh, most of these questions via email offline and uh, you can feel free to contact bhumit sharon ankush or me for that matter we will be happy to answer your questions uh, at uh, you know whichever way possible to make you feel comfortable that you are at the best place and this is going to be an extended home for you so be rest assured you're making the right choice three yeah, cheers to ubs and three cheers, cheers to